What is good YouTube? What is good 300? Today I'm back with another video. In my last video, I purchased and unboxed the Gear S3. Got into a slight little first impression thing about it. Now, my next step, before getting to the review is, I'm gonna show you how to customize your Gear S3 because that's the first thing I started doing. So I ordered in a couple watch bands from Amazon and then I'm gonna show you how I get watch faces. A couple places that I like to go to and a couple apps as well that you can get to help enhance your watch face experience. And a lot of these watch faces are free. App might cost you a little small premium, but the faces I get for it are free. They're all user submitted and they're all really dope. So uh, without any further ado, let's unbox, let's get into the customization and then I'm gonna show you where I get my watch faces from. Let's go. Okay, so here are the two watch bands that I just picked up. I grabbed them off of Amazon. They both were super inexpensive. I'll be sure to put the price on the screen right now. I got that Milanese one, and then I grabbed this one right here. This is like a kind of fabric slash, I don't even think it's real leather mix. <laughs> They're very cheap bands, so uh, don't judge. And this one right here, I know what you're thinking, but no, that's not what I'm going for. Uh, let's take another look at that beautiful watch face. And now let's talk about the band. So this band is a really thick rubber. I'm not sure what it's made of. Uh, it's pretty stiff. Not the most forgiving uh, band and it's not the most comfortable so that's part of the reason why we're gonna pop this off and change it hopefully these other two I know for a fact that the uh, Milanese one this one right here this is gonna be a comfortable band I had it on my Huawei I loved it uh, you get a magnet adjustment so there's no holes so pretty much any size wrist as long as it's within the length of the uh, band, it'll fit. Now, let's go ahead and open up this one first because this is one I'm really hyped and curious to see how it is. I picked it because the colors just popped to me. It had nothing to do with the resemblance. I know what you're thinking. And then these quick release pins are pretty much something that you want to make sure if you're getting a band for a smartwatch, it makes your life easier. Now, this is really stiff, so I'm hoping it's comfortable on the wrist. So we'll find out once we pop this thing on. So let's go ahead and um, remove this Gear S3. And as you can see, the quick release pins, they make your life so much easier. Trust me, if you get something that's with the OG, the old school, just straight pin, man, it's not the uh, easiest thing. So... Boom, get this to snap in. Very quick, very easy. I like the look of this band. This band is really nice. Now I know people are gonna have thoughts and perceptions about it, but I just like the colors. The colors are awesome. Like I think red is my favorite color and red goes along really nicely with a lot of different colors. Now obviously you probably wanna change your watch face to get to go a little bit more along the lines of what the band is. And that's what's dope about a smartwatch. You can change the band and change the face and uh, swap it totally. So now let's get into this Milanese one. It's gonna have these quick release pins and then you can just see the designs. It's like black stainless steel. The only caveat is probably those little plastic connection, the parts that connect to the uh, watch, but they have never been an issue for me. On my Huawei watch, I had it like that and I wore that thing religiously and never had a problem. So you're just gonna do the same thing. This one's not as easy to get on, uh, I will admit. Maybe I should have just pulled it <laughs> loose. I wasn't even thinking. I kept it like all connected as a loop. As you can see, this has a really nice sleeve look you got the all black everything jumping off and i love it okay let's take a look at some watch faces you guys i got a handful and i think i got some pretty cool nice ones so hopefully you enjoy them and you like them and i'll show you exactly how to get them once i'm done flipping through them so just sit back chill relax and take a peek at a couple of these things and then uh right after this i'm going to show you how i got them I really love this watch face. You get phone and watch battery levels, you get the weather, and you get a digital clock along with the date. All right, guys, now it's time for me to show you exactly how I got all of these watch faces. I use an app that's called Watchmaker. It's a small price. I'll be sure to put the price on the side of the screen. It also charged me 99 cents to get it on my gear, which I think is a separate price. So here is the trick. You go in there, you go to my watch faces, you click on a random watch face, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you just hit get free watches. Now I open this on Chrome. I'm not sure what happens if you do it on a Google Plus, but I went the Chrome route. And basically it takes you to this spot. Now there's a bunch of members in here. You see it's over six figures. And all of these people post watch faces and they give you download links for them. They're all free. 
And not only are people posting watch faces, people are requesting them. I've seen people post a picture of the watch face that they want and someone would respond or reply with the watch face made. So that is even more amazing. So make use of this, you guys. I highly recommend it because I got a ton of awesome watch faces. I'm gonna show you another way too to find more specific faces. Like as you saw, I had a lot of high-end designer watch faces. So you scroll up here, you don't actually have to scroll to the top, but you hit those triple dots right there and then you hit search. And then inside that search, you can type a brand of a certain watch, like per se a uh, Rolex. And once you search this, you're gonna get a ton of results. There's a lot of people who are very much enthusiasts. They post a lot of pictures of ones they want made. There's a lot of people who make them. It's so many different kinds. And I didn't even know a lot of these models and colorways and so forth existed. So dig deep in here and you can find a lot of really good gems. And if this isn't your brand or style that you like, there's other brands that you can search and you'll find, I'm pretty sure you'll come across what you like and love. Okay, I just wanna throw this in here really quick. Uh, I had someone reach out to me on Instagram. I guess it's these Glance watch faces. And he gave me five free codes to try out five of his watch faces. Um, the Glance Active one is the one that I really like out of the five. It has a lot of information on it. If you're one of those people who like a ton of information and you're very active and you're out there and you're counting steps and all those different things, you might want to check out his watch face. It was only 99 cents in the uh, Galaxy App Store. Uh, I'm not sponsored. This is not a, a paid advertisement or anything like that. I just wanted to plug them. It's obviously a small company. I like helping them out. So that's that. Now, on another note, when you get into this watchmaker app, even when you get these watch faces, you can go down and you can edit them. This app is all about customizing and building watch faces. I'm not a watchmaker, I don't know how to make them. I just know how to find really nice ones and uh, add them to my smartwatch. So I'll stick to doing that. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you my second resource. And a lot of you may know about this one. It's a website, it's called facerepo.com, facerepo.com. There's the uh, address right there in the top address bar. Now here you can find watch faces for the Facer app, or the Watchmaker app. I prefer the Watchmaker app. I haven't really dug in the Facer ones. Um, Actually, they're not looking too hot right now. But I wanna show you how you can search and filter out uh, your watch faces that you search for. You can even choose from flat tire round to square. So, you know, we got you all covered from the Moto 360 to the iPhone. And there's different categories. There's different features you can have. So if you want to see, like, I love to have battery level on the watch and also battery level on the phone. If I could find watch faces like that, I really appreciate those because just from a glance at my wrist, I know where my phone battery wise is sitting as well as my watch without having to pull out my phone. So that's really great. Now this recognizer watch face for the Facer app is looking pretty cool. Go ahead, hit the download, open with, I chose Facer. And now it's gonna make Facer my default. And it should load up inside the Facer app and then you should be able to transfer this over to your watch face. Okay, and there you have it. Now that watch face is on the watch. Uh, the Facer watch faces, the selection isn't the greatest. Maybe if you search by like the most downloaded or like the highest liked watch faces, you might find a lot of cool ones. I like the ones that they have for the watchmaker on Face Repo. So I'm gonna go back and check up the watchmaker ones and show you what kind you can find on there. So let's switch this up. So as you can see, I'm gonna do like I told you to do before. I'm gonna look at the most downloaded watch faces and I should be able to find some really cool ones. As you can see, some really nice ones showed up at the top of the list. These are the most downloaded. All you do is hit that little download button and it automatically starts importing into watchmaker. See, the watchmaker process is so effortless. It's so easy. So. Um, if you go in here and you go to my watch faces, you can see the watch face that we just downloaded. You just simply hit this green button to transfer it to your uh, watch face. And while it's doing that, well, wait, do I need to hit this again? Let me hit this. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, do I need to hit it again? I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, my watch was not connected because I was on the Facer app. So I got to go into my watch, switch it back to Watchmaker, and then we'll get this loaded up. So that's a good note to make. Make sure uh, as your watch face, watchmaker is selected before you try to import or send any watch faces to your watch that way it can talk to each other that's the companion software so as soon as this circle comes around full circle uh we'll have this watch face on the wrist and we'll take a look at it see how it looks 
Now, also, my watch faces take a little while to load because I have my uh, resolution or like, uh, what is it, like watch quality or something like that. There's a, a setting in there where you can turn it up. So I got high quality watch faces turned on. So I want them to look good. And I'll get more into that when I do my review and show you how you can turn that on. All right. So uh, I just want you to know, like, you guys can search on Amazon. You guys find a ton of watch bands. I literally just type in Gear S3 and you'll find a lot of different accessories. The one thing I have yet to get is a uh, screen protector. Protector. A lot of you guys have uh, suggested to me that I should get the glass screen protector. So I'm definitely going to get that. That'd be something else that you can add to your customization thing. It doesn't really add anything. It's more of a protective thing, but you want to protect your investments for sure. Amazon is probably like the best, most convenient, most uh, practical place to find watch bands at a great price. Got the steel links. So if you like a more traditional full stainless steel band with the links, you can find that on there. I got the Milanese type band, which I really like because of the adjustment level. And then I grabbed this colorful strap right here because I, I wanted something different something I never tried before and I really like it. I like the two combinations of the colors red is my favorite color and the red and green thing looks good I know it kind of has like that <laughs> Gucci type look but that's just because Gucci is so infamous with those two colors and that orientation but that's not the look that I was going for I just wanted something colorful that pops something different when I saw it I, I just instantly liked it I knew there would probably be a little stigma with the whole little whatever whatever but I'm not worried about that I rock what I like regardless of what people think even if it's a hype sneaker or whatever it is is, I'm a rocket because I like it and that's how you should be and that's what I like about these wearables in fact you should be able to get whatever watch band you like that expresses you as well as whatever watch faces you love that help express who you are bring that into your wearables bring that into everything you know what I mean be you for real like whether you're doing videos or you uh, the way you dress whatever it is just be you that's my biggest message to you I had a lot of fun grabbing these watch bands customizing my gear is three probably gonna still be some more to come I'm probably gonna grab a couple more bands these were pretty inexpensive but i will say this i'm very happy with the watch bands i picked this red and green one i love a lot and i already know i like the milanese one because i had that on my huawei watch uh, you know i was thinking about grabbing like some more uh some more adventurous bands like rose gold just doing something that's not the norm you know what i mean switching it up and just going outside the box so i might try doing that just something outside the box that's what makes things pop a little bit more you know what i mean options are limitless and that's one of the cool things about this so Take what I've given you and run with it. Hope you enjoy customizing your gears. Three, wait, it's not over yet. Smash that like button, hit that sub button, and I'll be back with another video. I got the review coming up real, real, real soon. I just wanted to get another one out. I'm out.